All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use tape diagrams to represent a proportional story and then use that tape diagram to solve for the proportion. So we're going to start with uh, the ratio of the number of Jennifer's sports cards to the number of Noah's sports cards is four to five. And if Noah has 60 uh, sports cards, how many sports cards does Jennifer have? So we've got two characters uh, in this story. And I, I always think about that. So I start with like, who's my, what's the story? The story is we've got Jennifer and we have Noah. All right. And then uh, what's going on? Well, uh, Jennifer has sports cards and Noah has sports cards. So I want to really be thinking about the story. Now I'm going to model that ratio of four to five. We got a ratio of four to five, and uh, just because of the way it's written, we know that no, uh, Jennifer has the four of that ratio, and Noah has the five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm trying to draw them relatively accurately, but I'm not doing a, all that good of a job. But we could see there's our ratio of four to five. Jennifer's sports cards to Noah's sports cards is four to five. Now it says Noah has 60 sports cards. So what, what that means is that means these five units down here represent 60 sports cards. And it says how many sports cards does Jennifer have? And we don't know. So that's the big old question mark right there. And uh, we can now look at our picture and we can see that these five units, these five units represents 60 sports cards. So using a little bit of division, I can see that one unit is equal to 12 uh, uh, sports cards. So that means each of these un uh, little units represents 12 sports cards. And I now know how many sports cards Jennifer has. Jennifer has four units. And so four units has to equal 48 because each unit represents 12. So four times 12 equals 48. So Jennifer has 48 sports cards. All right, let's do one more example. It says the ratio of the number of David's games to the number of Ben's games is two to three. So let's start drawing that. So let's represent David. And David has some games. I don't know what that means, but David has some games and Ben has some games. And we're going to represent that as a ratio of two to three. Okay, so obviously... By the way, you know, when you're using a tape diagram, uh, you know it's a good time to use a tape diagram, or at least a good time to consider using a tape diagram is if your ratio is relatively small. Uh, two, the ratio two to three is pretty darn easy to represent using tape diagrams. It would be kind of lousy if this was like 27 and 36, all right? So um, be thinking about, oh, recognize when it might be a good time to use your tape diagrams. Completing the story here, it says Ben has 36 games. So these three units right here represents 36. So three units represents 36 cards. And it says, how many games does David have? So we want to know how many games does David have? Well, if three units represents 36, that means one unit represents 12. Again, 12. Gee whiz, I should have chosen better problems. Whatever, I'm moving on. And so if we want to know how many games does David have, well, 2 times 12 is 24. So David has 24 games. And that is how you use uh, tape diagrams to represent ratios and then use those tape diagrams to solve a proportion. 